While the familiar pairing of salad greens and ripe tomatoes is enjoyable, a good salad can be so much more. Adding fruits, nuts, and other well-chosen ingredients offers new flavors and textures, and more importantly, it helps you to create a more healthful dish by adding a variety of nutritional benefits. We encourage all of our diabetics to put some color on your plate daily. It's helpful for us all. Did you know that a fourth cup of nuts or seeds add nearly five grams of high quality protein as well as a generous amount of vitamin E, fiber, minerals, and much more? Nuts are also high in healthful, unsaturated fat. Most leafy greens contribute folate, the B vitamin critical to red blood cell health. I bet you didn't know that collard greens were a great source of calcium and all leafy greens are low carbohydrate foods. These are perfect items for diabetics to consume. Tomatoes are filled with lycopene which is good for your heart. They're also loaded with plenty of vitamin C and potassium and folate. The tomatoes also may help you lower your blood cholesterol. Seafoods such as tuna, salmon, they offer omega-3 fatty acids which lower your risk for heart disease. The American Heart Association suggests eating at least two three-ounce cooked servings of fish per week. Remember to keep the portions to the size of the palm of your hand. They're good fats and they're certainly bad fats. We like for you to try cooking more with olive oil and canola oil. Polyunsaturated fats are great too, but please don't forget to watch your portions. We have some beautiful salads here in front of us and we're going to show you just what we can do with these salads. This is the prime example of getting some color on your plate. I'm you couldn't get you. any better than this. Well, you know what? A lot of people don't like fruited salads. And we have a wonderful this is a, uh, a ambrosia, ambrosia salad. salad that has nuts and all the fruits that are good for us included. We have our We have a spinach salad, salad here. We have a little bit of beets on it. But spinach is also a low carbohydrate food. It's a dark leafy green and dark leafy greens are just great and low in calories. And we also have a mixed green, which I like the best, along with the tomatoes and onions. And I like the cucumber, you know what, I like it all. Yeah, actually we could try and let's dig into some of these and see how well they taste. It's really important for us to get some color on your plate. And we do that by just filling up 50% of our plate. And I think I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. Well, I'm gonna try some of this ambrosia stuff. I like this a lot because it's good for my hips. It won't make my hips spread. Well, I know, but I know what you mean by that spreading part. Now, you know what gets us in trouble? We have to have a wet salad. Well, you know what I do for a wet salad? Cause you know I want salad dressing on all my lettuce. So what I do, I put balsamic vinegar on my salad first. Then I put my low fat, low calorie salad dressing on. And guess what happens? It spreads all over the salad and it makes, makes it go down wet. So that's my secret. Now, we know the men have a problem. They say, where to meet at? Well, yeah, you know, they do, they do so say that. So we're gonna add a nice piece of salmon, which is about the size of the palm of our hand. And we're going to add this right on the top of our leafy greens. And we can make a complete meal out of this. And you didn't have to cut the stove on either, mm, did you? Just not, the oven on to, to braise the salmon a little bit. Now, we always say salad dressers are on the side. It's really important. It's not the salad that's getting you in trouble with your calories. It's the salad dressing. Put your dressing to the side and just dip. All you have to do is dip to the side like this. Now, Ronice. What? I like my salad dressing all over my salad. I don't want to dip. So just add the balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar to your salad. This is good too. Man. You can dip if you like Ronice's style, but try mine. And put your low fat, low calorie dressing all over your salad. And you can even put a little bit on your salmon if you like. And I also suggest that you add fruit to this. It makes a wet salad go down real easy. Grapes, apples, all of those things. So we want you to try all of these tips, serve a healthful lunch or dinner to your family at home. And the key is stay in that inner circle of that dinner plate. You can get full as well. And you don't have to cut the stove on a whole lot. So try it and enjoy. We want you to at least try three salads a week. Enjoy. 
For detailed recipes and more information, visit us at ebonynutrition.org.